daughter, those that are mine are going through a lot of purification, depending on how much needs to be purified in you. I am drawing you closer and closer as time draws nearer, and I am separating you from the norm, from the world, from what is your usual way of being. What I'm doing is so very necessary for the work ahead of you all. You cannot understand it now, but you will when the time comes, and it will all make sense. I am also aligning you to my perfect will, so that at any moment you will be connected to me and know my heart. You are returning to who you were before the foundations of this world, not fully, but you will know much more than is possible from the common man. Not only am I aligning you to my will, but also as part of my army. You all will be connected to one another in spirit, and you will know one another this way. You shall have one mission that will be clear to you all, whether great or small. It will all be the same. What one knows, another will also know. This way you will work flawlessly, and you will know the flight of another and when they need help. When you will be out there, it won't be in your own thinking or plan, but all will be in sync, knowing exactly what to do. There will be unity and oneness of purpose and mission. Whatever position one finds themselves in, you will know exactly what your role is. No one will say glory or want the limelight, for you will all carry my glory and be in the limelight. Your assignments will be understood in the spirit more than the physical, and so you will execute in the physical much more precisely. I have separated my army from the Naja group. Those that will be with me in the field fighting the darkness to save souls. You are a different kind of bride and you have been in training, whether you realize it or not, all your life for such a time as this. You have developed stamina from within that only life circumstances could teach you. And whether you realize it or not, it has played a major role in molding you to who you are and what you will be, even in the world to come. I don't waste anything, and though I work out even your worst situations for good, those bad times worked something in you that has prepared you for your role. You will finally see how all your life is woven into these times you are now in, up until it is all over. So as you come to me, expect a mighty move of my spirit in you, for he knows what is needed, and he well understands what time it is. Yes, it is very powerful on your mortal bodies, but it is necessary. Your spirit man needs to be built up to face the battles ahead and to stand firm and steadfast in the face of it all. Come to me in the secret place, not with a routine or preconceived way you want to worship me, for it can all change in an instant and you may find yourself resisting, telling yourself, you didn't get to do this or do that and the other. Don't worry about all that, for I know what you need, and don't forget I know your heart. 
So expect these things more frequently as you come before me. Sometimes it will even be a move of 30 minutes when you thought you were coming to spend four hours with me. Don't be wrapped up in that, for what is needful will be done. I want my children to understand one thing. I have separated you, not to keep you warm and cozy, but to perfect you where you have fallen short. Time is of the essence, and I am preparing you for battle. Yes, the battle is mine, and it is already won. But you must go through the battle and war in the spirit, and soon in the physical. Understand your authority now more than ever. Your prayers of warfare do so much, even if you don't see or know. Pray and war in faith, and it will be done. Soon, what you have been warring in the spirit will be right before your very eyes. This is why your training is important, to know how to use what I have put in you. I will call you out very soon. The Nyon is about to roar, and my tribe will roar along with me. My tribe is you who have been in preparation for such a time as this. I come back as an iron to fight with you, my lion tribe, to extinguish the roar of the fake lion that is holding many captive. Forget what is going on around you and around the world as well, for these things must be. Forget your afflictions. I know you are pressed on every side, but know that you will not be crushed. All of that is working out for your good, so rejoice in your trials, in that your endurance is fortifying you as my mighty army. Your faith is growing to the full measure required, and this can only happen in and through testing. Know that your brothers and sisters throughout the world are going through the same trials, so be of good cheer and pray for one another. Your joy is soon coming, a joy that you cannot begin to fathom. As the world is entering its hour of darkness, you, my faithful warriors, will be coming out of your darkest hour to step into my glory that will shine so bright that the darkness in the world will not comprehend. Worship me, give thanks to me, for your final hour is coming to an end. You will triumph and rise above all that is coming upon the earth. Great and mighty will you be, precious instruments of righteousness, and my mighty battle axes you are. Do not be discouraged, be strong for your king has already gone before you and triumphed over evil. <laughs>